Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to write a lambda expression with respect to collections. So in our previous videos, we have seen what is lambda, how to write lambda function. But now we are going to see the practical implementation of how to use lambda with respect to collections. So we are going to use comparator interface for this program. And I'm going to show you how to write in the real time. So the practical example what I have taken is I want to write a program to sort the given employee records based on the employee name using lambda expression. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to have a list of employee records and employee will have a name, ID and also salary. But I want to sort those number of records, employee records in the list based on the employee name. So what I'm trying to do here is for this to start with, I'm going to create a class called employee, which is like a model, right? So I'm going to create a class called employee, right? So this employee class, I'm going to have private integer, which is employee id right and then private string employee name and then private int um salary right and this is a typical pojo class when i say pojo class means plain object java class where i'm going to generate the getters and setters what i can do is source generate getters and setters i can choose for all the variables i want to create generate and uh, getters and setters right so it creates by default with the help of eclipse so and also i want to generate um constructor uh, generate constructor using the fields using all the three fields i want to generate a constructor yeah this is also done and also i want to create the two string method i want to overwrite it right yeah so all done so this is uh, just a plain java uh, employee object right where i created an employee class with all these variables and i created a getters and setters for this class and i am uh, overwriting the two string method and also i'm just um, declaring a constructor using all the fields so now let's get into the topic of where we are going to use this employee object so as i said earlier i am going to have this employee class or the employee object which in i want to sort this um, employees based on the employee name right so for that what i'm trying to do here is i want to have the list of uh, employee objects right so which means list of employee let's say l is equal to new array list of employee object right i need to import these two right list is from java.util and array list also from java.util all right now we are done so now i need to add this list right list dot add right new employee of so here i need to add the employees right so i'm going to add let's say three employees so one is with id 20 and the name is let's say karthik and assume that his salary is let's say 600 okay and i'm going to add two more objects to the list so let's say his employee id is um 40 and his employee id is 2 and here it is like j and this is let's say san and here i can think about let's say 200 and this is something like um 700 okay so now what i did here is i created an employee model class where I have like employee ID, employee name and salary and I am going to, I created a, a list of employees and I added all these employees. So first thing, 
as I said earlier, if you want to sort these employees based on um, employee name, what I can do is I can use comparator interface. So in Java, we have interface called comparator, which is something like you can use it to compare the objects based on whatever the fields you want. And comparator interface is a function interface in Java, which means comparator interface has exactly only one abstract method in it. Okay, guys, now I'm going to use this one. So what I can do is I can go for collections. There is a utility class called collections. We have seen in our previous videos. Um, collections dot sort of right. If you guys see here, we can use this one, right? So the list is nothing but L and you have to use comparator C, right? So how you can use comparator C is you can create a new class in the same package. I'm creating a class called let's say emp sort um, which can implement comparator interface right and what you can do here is whenever you create a class which implements comparator interface here you are actually passing employee object right so you can say employee which is like capital e right and you have to unimplement you have to add the unimplement methods which is nothing but compare right you have employee object which is nothing but 0 1 0 2 which is like object 1 object 2 so what you can do here is you can write the logic how you want to return back right so what you can do here is you can say object 1 um object 1 dot object 1 dot you want to use it employee name right so first we have to get the first object's employee name and then dot compare to we have to use the compare to method with a second object which is nothing but o2 dot get employee name right so if you use this way then you are going to sort this objects with the help of uh, employee name right so what i need to do here is i need to create um, an object for this emp sort right so what i should do here is new emp sort of right so basically i'm going to pass let me first print this one this is out um, i would say um, before sorting um, what i contains here is let's say l and then i'm going to say after sorting right so here I am passing this new object like employee object. So this employee sort object already implements the comparator. So this is where we are writing this logic, right? So let me go and execute this, run this uh, main program. Let's see. Okay. If you see here before sorting employee ID equal to 20 employee name is Karthik and then second element is employee name is J and the third element is employee name is San which is something but like however you are inserting the insertion order is maintained because you are using list which means like insertion order will be maintained right or a list right so first element is Karthik second element is J and third element is San right now what we are trying to do here is we are going to sort based on this uh, name right now if you see here after sorting you are seeing the employee the first element is having employee name as J and the second element is having employee name as Karthik. Third element is employee name as San, San right? Which means uh, J K yes, right? So it starts uh, it starts based on um, name. But now if you see when I say new EMP sort, you are writing a separate Java class, right? So in our previous videos, we have seen whenever you have a class implementation, right? Which implements a function interface then you don't need to write a class and implements and then do this stuff right rather you can simply use the same logic over there directly right because here comparator is a function interface and this is the implementation class and you, here you are writing the implementation logic so instead of doing this way what you can do here is you can simply convert i'm going to say i'm going to comment this line 
I am going to say that collections dot sort of collections dot sort of passing this list and then new comparator of right because you are going to hold this the lambda expression by the comparator interface isn't it so what you can do here is whatever this logic is written here this logic right you don't need to have the specifier you don't need return type you don't need the name of the method right whatever you have it here to here you can simply put it over there in your program right but what you have to do here is you have to pass it like this isn't it so uh y must be a variable okay so you are passing this list and basically this is like kind of a variable which you are going to pass it so in this case uh, you have to pass a variable right not an object so c is equal to employee one employee object two and then inside that you are returning this one right so what you can do here is instead of writing like this what you can do here is instead of new emp sort you can simply say collections dot sort of this list and then new comparator of right what you're trying to do here is let me write it here so we are passing this object employee object isn't it and then you are writing the logic here right so whatever the logic you wrote it there you are going to simply write it here right um and then this should be closed by like this okay now what you're trying to do here is new comparator of employee which is nothing but whatever you did here right the comparator of employee and whatever the logic you have written here right the compare to method you can use that right um, basically this compare of right so what you can do here is um, you can simply overwrite this one here you can simply overwrite that one So here what i'm trying to do here is uh you know what like actually you can do one thing like instead of doing all this you can simply change it into one quick way of converting this into if you pass two objects let's say e1 comma e2 um if you pass it to this object so what you're trying to get it here is you are going to say e1 dot get employee name right dot compare to sorry compare compare to of e2 dot get emp name isn't it so if you use this one then whatever you're getting it uh why it's throwing the error compare to of this one Uh, let me see what is error message not applicable oh sorry i'm using employee id so it should be get emp name right because we are comparing based on the name now this should be fine yeah so this is where i'm replacing this entire class implementation with 
help of lambda function so i'm going to start executing this one if you can see here yeah before sorting karthik j and then san now after sorting it is j karthik and san right so now even if you don't have this method or this class emp dot java let me go and run delete this class still my core works because i'm not using that logic i'm simply writing it here itself the my implementation right so let me go and run this program here you go still it works right j karth and sam so basically what i'm trying to do here is instead of uh, writing uh, my implementation in a separate class by which implements the compare interface i am simply writing my own logic of compare method like wherever i am passing this compare method the logic so in the compare method i am passing emp1 and emp2 and then i am comparing it right the same logic i am writing it with the help of uh, lambda expression because comparator interface is a function interface and that is the reason i can able to use it here so this is way how you can actually use lambda expression with respect to collections um collection framework basically what i am trying to do here is i am having an employee object where it has like employee id employee name and salary and i created all the pojo related like getters and setters and then i created a list of all the employees that we added with employee name id and salary and then i tried to print it before it before sorting and it was sorted based on the instance order because i am using array list so array list holds the instance order and after that i am trying to sort using comparator interface so collections dot sort of i have to pass that list and then i have to write the implementation of how i want to sort it so here i am writing an implementation by passing e1 and e2 by comparing the employee name of first object versus a second object it is going to sort it so based on that it sorted because of alphabetical order because of string so emp name is j karthik and e uh, san assume that let's see if you want to sort it based on the employee id right so if you say get emp id dot compare to of e2 dot get emp id then what i'm trying to do here is i'm comparing it based on um employee id of first object and second object isn't it but what I'm trying to get here is cannot invoke compare to of int on the primitive type int. Yeah, that is correct. So you have to pass this as an integer. So let me change it quickly. I just want to show you guys how this actually works with the respect to integer. So let me save this. Oh, still it is showing an error. What is that? Cannot invoke compare to of int on the primitive type int okay so this has to be replaced basically um employee id is okay get us insert still needs to be changed so what i'm trying to do here is i'm going to replace regenerate the get us insert us since i changed the um object type right the variable type so select all then get us insert us has been generated and then i am generating a two string method right and then i am generating the constructor method uh, using the fields right so now everything should be okay here yeah this also works right now it should sort based on the employee id isn't it so if you see here before sorting id is 20 40 and then now after sorting it sort based on the employee id that is the reason we are getting first element as 2 and then 20 and then 40 so this is how actually you can use um lambda expression and function interface together in terms of collection framework i hope you guys have understood this concept please try to execute uh, both the way of writing the program and see how it goes thank you guys bye bye I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching I will see you in the next interesting video guys.